Burning Man. Thank you very much, Life of a Nerd, and welcome back to the Let's Play series. How are you doing today? I'm at the Blaze Grinder. I wanted somebody to name it, and so I picked a name. Now today, we will continue our grand project in the Iceland, so it's time to cool off. See? Cold? Haha. Uh -huh. You get it? No. <laughs> Okay, well, anyways, today we're going to add an entrance to our build. Now, this is what I'm thinking. We will make a 3x3 three three door and put three dark oak doors, and then we will call it a day. We'll put a wall there, and that'll be the whole project. I think it'll look wonderful, and yeah, I'm totally kidding. I want to do a redstone door here, a 3x3 three three redstone door with sticky pistons in all. We haven't done one in this whole world at all yet, and I think this is the perfect build for it. It's looking very grand and fancy, so it definitely calls for something grand and fancy. Now, I haven't done one of these doors in a long time, so I think I'm in for a struggle today, but I know it uses sticky pistons, so that's a start, right? Now, we want a 3x3 door, so the shape will be like this. I like the doors with the hole in the middle so I can pearl inside of them if I ever start using pearls, actually. So that's what we're thinking. It'll line up perfectly with the center. And I think I want the wall to kind of pop in like this. So we have or no, no, not like that, like uh, this. So we have, you know, this interesting shape here. I don't know what it will turn into up there. Um, but yeah, I think that would be interesting to do. So I think I need to remove this whole pillar, sadly, and then I guess start going and placing the sticky pistons. I think that's where I should start with this project. Uh, again, I'm kind of unfamiliar with these types of doors, um, or not so much. You see, here's the thing. I've been playing this game for quite some time, and I used to do a lot of redstone builds and redstone doors and redstone storage rooms and all that kind of stuff. But then I just kind of moved away from it for quite some time and never really got back into it. So I'm not completely new and a noob to all of this stuff, but I am by no means an expert at this stuff. Uh, did I bring? Yes, I brought all of my supplies. So we need nine sticky pistons and I want to do iron blocks as the door. I think that would look pretty um, fancy, epic, cool, neat. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. So I think I want on this pattern um, to be like two pistons on every side. Now, every single one of these pistons needs a repeater, I do believe, to get the timing right. Um... I feel like the placement's not right, but I guess we'll find out. So I need nine repeaters, but actually 10 to send the signal um, on a bit of a delay to the other half of the pistons because there's not that many ticks. Now, one more thing that I want to keep in mind is I want this to be triggered by a pressure plate, a single pressure plate, um, probably sitting like there. We'll do dirt for now, and then I'll do my wiring all on um andesite and stone just because i don't know if there will be a basement i don't want to rip it all up so that is the start of our circuit right um now stay with me here uh i think i need to invert it so i would do a little redstone torch like that and then i could lower this down one more right um ugh. Okay, hold on. No, no. Torch goes down there like that. Or how about we get crazy and put the torch over here like that? No, I don't want that. This is what we need. Then we need um, repeater. So repeater one, repeater two. Uh, we're going to make the door spiral like around like that. So it starts here and ends over there. So then I guess I just need to put redstone. Easy enough. Oh boy. Uh, that's not exactly right. I'm a genius. I am an absolute genius. It works. Uh, well, two of them work. <laughs> Neat. I'm getting crazy with this redstone tactics. Watch that slab. Aha, dust and four. Okay, so four of these should work now. Um, no, what am I doing wrong? I think I need to power the block above it, right? With this instead, this needs to go up top. And while I'm at it, I might as well power these up here. So if I put a repeater here and a repeater here, 
and then delay that right a little bit and uh, do that uh let's see does it work now um uh-huh uh-huh the top one needs more delay but uh-huh now for these final two i don't want to go in a whole circle that would be wasteful so i think i can figure this out if i put another repeater over here and just snake it underneath the ground over to these pistons okay the moment of truth here's the last one that needs wiring now i'm not worried about all of this obnoxious crazy annoying wiring um i'm gonna hide this uh with a wall we're gonna put a big wall here so i can't see any of this except the entrance but does it work uh-huh look at that it works now do i have all of my pistons in the right spot um uh i'm nervous about this part uh there 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 i think i do uh-huh it's kind of quick um i might need a little bit of a delay on it or something can i get through it i mean i can get through it now i need an opening over here but i don't want a pressure plate on the outside of course because um that would mean that anything could walk in on me so if i put a button here and then run a wire around to the starting point it should work from the outside as well um i think i think i can just do a little dust wire underneath here okay. i've got my wire so does the button work nope it does not work uh i think i need to move the repeater maybe a little bit uh it's pretty long wire so let's try again um hold on uh yeah it works uh but i'm not quick enough um yo okay i'm in um so that's all of that that works well now i need to throw a wall in you're not gonna watch me throw the wall in i'm gonna throw the wall in with some magic um and hide all of this nasty nasty wiring i hope this doesn't like um bother the floor that i do mm. hmm watch this I would say what is behind me is quite nice, but what do you think? Do you like it? It was really hard to do this whole wall. I don't know why I struggled so, so much with it, but I went with a rainbow shaped glass and then we have it coming down and then we have our door. So it, it's okay to me. I think it looks cool, but I don't know. Um, going out here though, I love the door. I love it so much, uh, but going out here, I didn't do really anything yet. I think what we'll do is just kind of cover all this up pretty much not too much going on out here um i don't know though i thought we would focus a little more on the inside because i started with the outside and then i was like okay this isn't like going anywhere you know so i was like i uh, will work on the other side now so switching gears now i had an amazing comment from llama tim gaming sorry llama tim gaming i loved the comment about a giant portal at one side of this thing now i was thinking um this would be really massive of a portal so what i think i want to do is put a wall like somewhere in here i need to go get more quartz i ran out um but we put a wall like uh you know like it sits inwards like that and then we do hmm, hmm. Well, I want a wall here, right? And then I want another room in here. And then I think on one of the sides, so like maybe right here, we put a big portal. And then on the back wall, uh, I don't know. And then on this wall, um, maybe like a enchanting setup or something or, or something. I don't know. I don't want a big room in here, but this needs to be where the staircase goes. So maybe one side has a staircase or right on the back. Ah, I'm confusing myself. Somewhere in here, it needs to be a staircase and then the portal. Um, and maybe like a back exit too, just in case of creepers, you know, something like that needs to happen over here. I'd like to try and grind out the rest of the interior today. Um, so then like next episode, we could move on to something else, something a little bigger, something a little more fancy. Um, maybe we stock this whole thing in today. I don't know if today is necessarily moving day though, but definitely some moves need to happen back here. Now, I'm thinking sticking with the birch theme here. Maybe we just do one and we could do a diagonal, maybe. I don't know about a diagonal, but maybe we just do it open. But I definitely need a spiral staircase and I need 
this path up here to link up so you're basically taking the spruce and connecting them um because it doesn't connect over there up top i guess i'll go up and show you guys um i don't have a really good way up there right now but up top we have pretty much whoa 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 up top we have this this is the view i'll put more stuff that i use down here and then stuff i need less way over here because this is kind of inconvenient i can't get across easily those are the basic moves that i'm gonna try and make now uh i think I think uh, it's good to start with the top floor. This would be a good thing to start with. Uh, it's so hard, though, working on this build. It's so massive, and it's like I want to add a bunch of detail and stuff, but I also don't want to go overkill, and I also don't want to leave it all plain, you know, so I need to figure something out. But also the egg farm. If you were wondering about the egg farm, haven't talked about it at all yet, um, the egg farm is doing well. Um, I've been going over there every so often, um, taking the eggs and hatching more chickens or trying to hatch more chickens because uh, the more chickens the better um, and then we're going to set up a chicken farm so maybe that's another thing that could go over here I don't know though um, I don't want to risk it with the whole fire because the farm uses fire right and I don't need something to burn down here I don't need any fire over here so uh, I don't know what to do about that maybe we just put a different building nearby and go outside with it you know just make it safer uh but I don't know. So I've got it all figured out. The back wall, back section, easy. Very, very easy. Um... Yeah, that's a glass thing. Okay, so what I did is I'm doing, you know, just a... A glass window here i think i'll continue it down until like the top of the portal probably or somewhere around there and then i will continue these walls straight up you know to kind of match all of this stuff um but then down here um very simple two spiral staircases in there they're actually a little off so they end you know in the middle um i wanted them to end where they end so i did that there sneaky sneaky me then we have two um instead of one two escape doors now for the crafting setup or the enchanting setup excuse me i think we could do them actually in the floor in here in the main room um with like glass over them and then we can reach down and hit the table i think that would be cool instead of back there and here's the mega portal so i think it's time to light the mega portal um or maybe we should finish up uh the build a little bit more first and then light the mega portal but i think it all looks really nice um it's working very very well so today I do want to try and move everything in here by the end of the episode or at the end of the episode. Um, so we definitely have to figure out the floor and I extended the ceiling one more section as well. But I totally have to figure out the floor. That's going to be a challenge, I think. I don't think we're going to do checkered floor down here. That would be way too much um, craziness. We already have a lot going on. So um, we should finish that window and then light the portal and get going time to light the portal everything is all set up we have a giant portal in here now that is really awesome thank you again for the idea now up here i got tricky pumpkin lighting under carpet so the whole top area is actually all lit and there will be no spawns in the whole top so the bottom now these torches are here temporarily because i'm not gonna mess with um and rods today but in here the floor so we have a lot of option with the floor because I didn't use any gray in the build, really, down here. And what I'm thinking is we could do a stone brick floor um, because we didn't use any gray, uh, other than the back area. We might have to do something a little different back there. I also want to throw the enchanting table in the floor. That's something I've never done before, so I think... It would make sense to throw it right in the middle. So we'll do enchanting in the dead center. The center piece is this area in here. Now we can encase the table in pretty much a square of tables and we have to do a lower layer as well. So it would get to 30, but I think this would work. And then we just do a lot of glass in this area. Um, so glass is where the planks are and the tables below. I think that'll all work. I brought everything to make the table here. Um, it's all over here. I have diamonds. I have, I have a bunch of obsidian and leather and paper or sugar cane that will become paper. So I should be able to get the full setup in and then maybe some of the, um, what do you call them? the the signs to label everything but i mean that's gonna be a project all of the chests in this thing that's gonna be some grinding um now hmm i think it's bookshelf time table there now space of course and then 
bookshelves. So I think bookshelf goes there, there, right? And then there, there, and there, there. I'm doing this correct, right? Um, what can I enchant? Uh, no, you can't enchant that. Uh, I want to test it just to make sure my whole idea is going to work. I've got to have something unenchanted that I can enchant here. I can't enchant that. Um, wait, I think you can enchant shears if they're new, um, right? Or no, why Why would you be able to uh, facepalm? It works. I don't know what was going on. I'm having a facepalm type of day but over here we get 30 levels we back out everything is in our inventory i don't know why i was worrying about like being able to pick things up or like things getting thrown down there it doesn't really work like that anymore now i think we would just outline this in um andesite because it looks like a like a good holder block i like to border glass with andesite i think it looks really nice and then i'm gonna continue this pattern of doing a little bit of acacia wood in here filling this in with the whole pattern idea. Um, so that's all pretty much good. I think the whole design is going to work. I don't know how I'm going to stop spawns down there. That's one thing that I haven't figured out. I mean, I could put pumpkin lighting down there, but that's kind of not very nice looking. So maybe glowstone down there. Glowstone would look quite nice. Oh, you know what I just remembered? Lighting in here. I need to worry about lighting on the floor as well. And I think redstone lamps might be the way to do it. Um, if we put like lamps here 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 there like and so on would that light the whole area up um ooh, i hope it will uh i need to test this where's some sticks i'm all over the place i mean i guess i'm always all over the place but if we had all of these on and then we checked our light level um they won't spawn on the stairs so the stairs don't matter but if we added one to all of these numbers, I think actually everything would be perfectly, perfectly good. This would be the darkest spot, and that would be a nine. Um, yeah, I think that'll work, but I definitely shouldn't have levers sitting on the tops of them. That would look really corny, wouldn't it? This is a really, really slow moving process, but it's coming along. I think it looks really nice. Um... It's really flat. That's what I'm trying to break up with these stairs. And then my other idea to remove some of the flatness is a little bit of rocks in here, like stone buttons just kind of scattered about. In 1.13, you can change like the direction they're facing, so I won't really worry about it too much. Um, I had to get clever here with these um, torches because right underneath there is all the wiring of our noisy, noisy door. But I think I'll just have stuff sitting out here kind of randomly. It looks random, but I think it's okay. Not bad. Um, I don't know. It looks really, really flat, but we'll go take a look from upstairs here. I think it looks nice from up high. Um, I mean, I don't know. I want an open build here, so I guess it's pretty good. I don't want to really put anything in the middle. What should I put, like, in the middle, though? Do you have an idea? I, I didn't really want to put anything here, but... What do you think? And this is my trick to make it so I don't fall, um, but I can reach it still. I think it looks weird, but it works, you know. Um, now, I had a brainstorm, or like a really smart idea, and I think in the future we'll come back and renovate this a little bit. I'm not going to do it today, but we could put a AFK fish farm right underneath this thing, because then I could fish, and then I'd be able to store everything like right in here while fishing, you know. Um, and I, I think that would be a really good idea because I don't want to have to like cart a bunch of stuff back and forth to storage, you know. Now in this back area that I was just tearing up, I think it would be nice to bring the checkered floor down here. So we have checkered just in this back section. That would kind of make the top match the bottom and feel less like two separate builds. And then I could easily do pumpkin lighting in here on the floor. So that's what I'm thinking with the build. Now I just need to wait for vines to grow really so I can get the whole um, mixture of the blocks in. So that's really what I'm waiting for. But the whole build is just about done and I'm really, really digging it. Um, I definitely will need to slowly start moving stuff in. I don't know about moving everything in today. That's a little ambitious, but we'll see. Well, I think I'm about done. Are you ready? How about now? No? Okay, I'll stop that. So, the storage room. I like this little view here. We'll be purling in there eventually, but for now we walk right in, and 
it's big. It's pretty big. This is probably maybe the biggest build I have ever built. Definitely easily the biggest build in this world. And it needs uh, like stocking and chesting up. And also it needs banners. I need to design a banner and hang them on these poles. I think that would look really, really nice. But everything should be spawn proof in here and everything should be pretty much finished in here now i need a proper spot for a bed i'm thinking like back here just kind of tuck it along the wall um like this but i don't know about that i don't know if i really like that but we definitely do need a bed in here and i would like to have a water source in here somehow so maybe there's a basement that i should add going down underneath here going down here or something i don't know but I think it looks pretty nice. Now, I just need to stock this thing up with chests like I started to do here. So this is going to be a lot of tree farming and a lot of moving. I'm going to try and get some in in between the episodes and sort the stuff and everything. And basically, we'll have a lot of chests for items. Now, to finish off this episode, I would like to use my ender chest. Here it is, spinning in a circle, not knowing where it is. And I have four mending books um this one has fortune too so i'm gonna try and dodge that one but i think it's about time we enchant some stuff with mending so mending on the elytra first of course so that's good now we need a mending on i think the silk pick because i use that a lot so we'll do mending on the silk pick um then we have one more really um mending maybe on we can't put it on the bow so i feel like we might as well go mending on our sword there we go we got some mending tools now off camera i need to afk fish even more to get more mending um books so i can enchant like my shovel and my axe and that kind of stuff and my other pickaxe uh, but yeah, so thank you very much for watching. This has been the Let's Play episode 62. I hope you enjoyed the build. What do you think about the build? And next time we meet, we'll have a healed pickaxe and hopefully a stocked storage room. I will see you next time. Go have a good day. Goodbye, everybody.